It's really fascinating to see how Margot got some big screen performances and nuanced roles under her belt, all of them in such a short career. So in this video, let us dive into the top 10 Margot Robbie movies. At number 1, Tanya Harding, I, Tanya. This role in the I, Tanya film skyrocketed her career. She was already, by that time in 2017, thriving in her career. This is a biopic about a well-known American figure skater. By playing part in this, she downplayed her signature looks. This has garnered huge appreciation and she also received an Academy Award nomination. Even the critics have praised her performance. She has portrayed many emotions like being funny, delightfully irrelevant, and emotionally raw. At number 2, Naomi Lapiglia, The Wolf of Wall Street. The Wolf of Wall Street has garnered so much popularity, so it is natural for Margot Robbie playing Naomi Lapiglia to have her breakthrough in the 2013 movie. You might be wondering how this happened since Leo was the main character in the film. Yes, I agree that he did a splendid job of playing a real life character, Jordan Belfort, but I do have to take a second and praise Margot Robbie for her performance as his wife. She had only acted in very minor roles prior to this film, and this made her a big star, paving the way straight to a Hollywood A-list star. The story of her audition is, to date, the most amusing for her fans as well as Leo's. This is because she slapped Leo across the face unexpectedly, almost as if she felt it was natural for the character to do so. She was living in the character, and that peculiar thing impressed the casting directors. At number 3, Herself, The Big Short. Her role in this movie has cemented her as a top-notch Hollywood A-lister. Let us see why it is so. The Big Short movie is full of complex economic concepts that would make movie buffs go bonkers. In a way, this has put Margot Robbie in a very tough spot with her being front and center in the most hilarious ways. So it's very clear for the producers and directors that this one's plot would be hard to understand so they brought in big celeb guns. Let's see why this was Margot's next role. She being in a luxurious bathtub portrays mortgage-backed securities and surprise loans. This is why I told you guys it was funny, but weirdly enough, it is pulled off. Next up at number 4, Harley Quinn in the DCEU. Her performance in the Suicide Squad films are praiseworthy. No matter how well the first film performed or underperformed, her performance in the Suicide Squad films is absolutely praiseworthy. This was even praised by the critics. It shows her star power a lot, and she struck the perfect balance between being an endearing and as well as a maniacal character. Next up at number 5, Goodbye Christopher Robin. The year 2017 was the second time Margot worked with Dom Hall Gleason. It is a melancholy tale, which weirdly enough also focused on the historical aspects of the movie. The double A mile has introduced Winnie the Pooh to this world. The role of Margot Robbie is to play the wife of A.A. A. Milne in the way that they have a contentious relationship that has tagged her as the best period actress. At number 6, Jess Barrett in Focus. She's hit the right spot in her career by acting alongside Will Smith. This is a romantic and crime film in which she proved that she can be as intimidating as her co-star. While the rumors were that they were romantically involved, this might not have impressed the critics, but personally, her performance despite being paired with an intimidating A-lister was compelling. Before we move on to the next one, I'd like to know how you're liking the video so far. Let us know in the comments section down below, we'd love to hear from you. Next up at number 7, Queen Elizabeth in Mary Queen of Scots. She was best suitable for this role as Queen, playing on the opposite of titular Mary. No one would be able to guess it was Margot playing the role. She's unrecognizable with an English accent. Her skill and talent ignited the sparks and were challenging to the other side. At that point, both of them were new and quite starting out to be honest. Next up at number 8, Anne Burden in Z for Zachariah. This is not a popular film to begin with. This movie is based on a novel with the same name. She plays the character of Anne Burden, who strives hard to live in a post-apocalyptic world. This movie has opened up great opportunities for her. At number 9, Tanya Vanderpool in Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. She's not the main character in this film. She was only playing a supporting role named Tanya Vanderpool. This was at a time when she was also acting in Tarzan. She was a journalist in the movie, working with the BBC channel. All in all, this movie was not well received by both the public and critics, and it's gotten mixed reviews. At number 10, Jane Clayton in Baroness Greystroke, The Legend of Tarzan. This movie undoubtedly hit big numbers at the box office, and we can go to the length of saying that it was a promising role for her. This has a $356 million return, and Margot Robbie has played the character of Jane 
and even in the film, despite earning millions, has not lived up to the expectations. It's got mixed reviews. And being in the character of Jane, Robbie performed best as she could with the material. All of these movies make it compelling how her performances should be remembered. And undoubtedly, she is the most talented and successful Australian actress who made it big in Hollywood. And with that, that's going to do it for today's video, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, then consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel for more videos just like this. We'll see you guys next time.